50 Marvel Easter eggs in Fortnite. Before we had collabs, we were forced to make our own Marvel characters like Budget Deadpool. And seven years later, Fortnite would honor this. His official release included this loading screen. And if you check the wall, you'll spot a photo of Hybrid with kisses on it. And did you know that some of Fortnite's Marvel secrets actually predict the future? Like when they released Group back in 2020, they had to think of a glider for a set. So they dug up old comics and found a power he almost never uses, wings. Not only was this glider an obscure reference, it was finally spotted in the MCU years after Fortnite added it. Sometimes the Easter eggs are only for diehard Fortnite players, like when Magneto broke Weapon X out of the Chapter 5 bunker. Pretty cool until we looked closer and saw another tank. Inside, all that remained was a banana, which is obviously a reference to Wolverine Peely. Now, he is finally here in Season 4. And if you manage to pick up the Spider-Gwen outfit, you'll love her emote. It lets any of your Fortnite skins do insane acrobatics, except there's a secret Easter egg for using it with Gwen. This is what it normally looks like, and now here's Gwen's version. It's slowed down to 24 frames per second, which is the same frame rate of Into the Spider-Verse. Not the only attention to detail, MJ from No Way Home is a pretty standard outfit, unless you zoom in on her neck. If you've seen the Tom Holland trilogy, you'll remember that he bought MJ a black Dahlia necklace in Far From Home before it was damaged in a fight. She wore it anyway, and Fortnite brought this broken version to the game. One of the first Marvel Easter eggs in Fortnite appeared with the Avengers LTM. Obviously, it was pretty cool to play as Thanos until players realized they could emote with him. It's a pretty hilarious thing to do, and that's when they used the snap emote. This special effect didn't work with any other character, and once the LTM was deleted, we had no way to get it back. Until years later, when Thanos was finally turned into a skin, and alongside him, the snap emo was changed to Marvel rarity. Not only did this let us do the secret finger click whenever we wanted, but it also worked with his back bling. Nice. When it comes to Spider-Man, he has one of the coolest emotes in the whole game. Hanging upside down, it's already insane, until you notice how he greets people. Hey everyone, Spider-Man. This is a reference to Spider-Man 3, where Tobey Maguire turns into a cool Peter Parker. I also want to say that Cypher's Strut also reminds me of this scene. A more direct reference to Spidey's other emote, and you'll recognize its secret instantly. That man's an imposter! That man is the imposter. One of the funniest Easter eggs lets you kill a superhero. During the Marvel season, you can land at a tiny Ant Manor POI, but the second you step foot on the ground, an achievement will pop up. Splash, you just stepped Ow! on Ant Man. Before you straight up flatten this guy, he had an amazing secret on his back bling. Turns out this is Antonio, a loyal steed who is actually from the MCU. I'm gonna call you Antonio Banderas. Not the only cosmetic taken straight from a movie, one of Deadpool's coolest emotes lets you ride around on a scooter. While well, Fortnite's version is way more decked out in stickers, it is taken from a scene in Deadpool 2. Looking good, Vanisher. You'll probably recognize Drax's Zardnet emote too, as this references one of the funniest scenes in the entire MCU. I've mastered the ability of standing so incredibly still that I've become invisible to the eye. The description even says you could master the art of standing still just like Drax did. One of the most heartwarming Easter eggs appeared after the passing of Chadwick Boseman. It was during the launch of the Marvel season, and Epic had to pay tribute to such a legendary actor. So a few months later, they released Panther's Prowl as a location on the map and gave out the Wakandan salute for free. You love to see it. In fact, if you picked up the Black Panther outfit, you'll appreciate his secret pickaxe. These are vibranium daggers, and despite the fact the skin is based on the comics, these are taken straight from the MCU film and are used by Killmonger. As for a recent Easter egg, you'll appreciate the hidden detail in Deadpool's new set. His back bling is a popular variant from the comics, Headpool. While it might seem like a random character to add, he shows up in the latest Deadpool film, making this the perfect introduction to Fortnite. And if you love comic variants, you'll appreciate this exclusive item from 2020. It's mostly been forgotten over the years, but this is the MCG. Instead of the word universe, it stands for glider. Each edit style shows a real comic cover of the Battle Pass skins from Doctor Doom and Mystique to Thor and Iron Man. A hilarious secret is in the arms of Mantis's back bling. This little guy is holding an Anulix battery, which is a running joke from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. 
because he stole Anulac's batteries. They're called Harbulary batteries. No, they're not! Speaking of Guardians, Star-Lord's bundle was updated in 2019 with a new pickaxe. And while it seemed generic at first, if you look closely, it is actually Peter's blaster with a carbon fiber handle and blade on the end. One of the most hidden Marvel Easter eggs could only be found if you unlocked Wolverine. He was the secret outfit, so he dropped later in the season, giving fans almost no time to unlock his hidden variant. His back bling was a decapitated sentinel head, and if he dropped on the map and landed on its body, a secret quest would complete. So many people missed this, and now they'll never be able to unlock the activated style. Now, you might remember the Iron Man secret hiding at Stark Industries. Just outside of here, there was an upstate New York POI that brought Tony's cabin to the game. It's a one-to-one -one recreation of the place where his funeral would eventually happen. And underneath the house, you could find a hidden lab which included multiple Iron Man suits. Sadly, they never became outfits or styles. But a skin you can appreciate is a car and champion Hulk from Thor Ragnarok. He came out earlier this year, and the details are insane like his shield. This back bling is wrapped in beads, and if you've seen Ragnarok, you might recognize him, as Hulk wears these around his neck for most of the film. Not the only way they've kept things accurate. If you want to use Mjolnir in Fortnite, you literally have to be worthy. It's impossible to equip this pickaxe unless you're one of the Thor variants or Steve Rogers. Now, obviously, Nick Fury isn't worthy, but that doesn't stop him from having some incredible Easter eggs. Before he released, fans spotted an eye patch on the deck of the helicarrier, teasing him coming to Fortnite. And when he did, the lobby pose felt strikingly similar as they compared it to the original photo shoot from the MCU. It's quite literally a one-to-one -one copy. And so is the Shatari Chariot. This glider from Loki said is taken straight from the first Avengers movie when he invades New York. Personally, I prefer Deadpool's glider, which is a llama unicorn. If you know anything about Wade Wilson, he freaking loves unicorns. So when he dropped a Fortnite, this was basically the perfect mix of animals. Now, if you've read the official Fortnite Marvel comics, you probably still miss their exclusive variant covers. There was a chance you could find one with Spider-Man saving Jones and Tilted Towers. And if this looks familiar, it's a recreation of the first appearance of Spidey ever, Amazing Fantasy number 15. There's also this cover where he's holding up jazz hands in front of a battle, which is a hidden reference to the 8th issue of Secret Wars. Back in game, if you own Star-Lord, check out his Lego version. It was recently added, and it looks completely different to the actual Fortnite skin, because this is based on the MCU version of Star-Lord instead of the comic books. His buddy, Rocket Raccoon, has even more secrets. If you take damage or get drowned, he'll spin at the enemy. Then when you go for a swim, he won't be happy about it. Bruh. Kind of reminds me of the sapling group back bling. Most people know that he's a reference to the end of Guardians, where he regrows as a baby plant and tries to dance without Drax spotting him. And I know spoiler alert, but you had time to watch the movie, okay? Now this gets better. By the third film, Groot has grown into a young adult, and with this version coming to Fortnite, they added a secret E mode, the potted Groot dance. The scripture even says move to the groove, but only when they ain't watching. The move everyone's looking at is Widow's Pirouette. You'll probably know this is inspired by Black Widow's martial arts, but it's actually taken directly from her debut scene in Iron Man 2. In fact, this emote is the same move that her sister makes fun of in Black Widow. This thing that you do when you whip your hair when you're fighting with the arm and the hair and you do like a fighting pose. It's a fighting pose. You're a total poser. I'm a poser. <laughs> Moving on to Loki, he has one of my favorite Easter eggs, and it's hidden in his mischief flip. He summons all kinds of random items until he cycles to a friendly face. Yep, you know and love him. It's Blevin the Blue Cube from Chapter 2, hiding in a Loki emote. Kind of like how Doctor Strange has a glider, which seems like a usual spell, until you look closely and spot cube runes on it. Now let's take it back to Star-Lord, because he was one of the first Marvel skins ever to appear in Fortnite. On his back bling, we also got one of the first Easter eggs on a superhero cosmetic, as you can spot a mini Gru keychain hanging from his jetpack. One of the most hidden secrets belongs to the last person you'd expect, to Venom. In the Symbiotes bundle, there was an exclusive emoticon, and because no one really cares about these things, we look past it. But you could spot Venom eating chocolate. This is because in the movies, he needs to eat a chemical, which is found in either cocoa or brains. Oh. Chocolate hasn't arrived yet. No, no, we have a deal. I am happy to eat, Mrs. Chen. No, no, you cannot eat, Mrs. Chen. And I absolutely love the hidden roast in Thor's emote. It's a built-in emote that only appears when you equip the reform Mjolnir pickaxe, which means it's exclusive to people that are worthy, like Thor or Captain America. Also, turns out there's a trick. If you change out of the Thor outfit, it lets you use the emote with unworthy characters, and this unlocks a secret animation. Uh, uh, 
Another insane combo is when you equip Psylocke's pickaxe and glider at the same time. Usually pulling them out looks like this. But when combined with her pickaxe, she'll create the glider with her powers. When it comes to Black Panther, no one appreciates his Wakandan Skyrider. While it may seem like a regular glider, it is based on the ships from the film. Everett Ross even flew one. Fortnite loves keeping the MCU close, like in Gamora said, where her God Slayer glideboard secretly has an Infinity Stone in the middle. Obviously, that's because they spend the entirety of the first movie looking after the Power Stone in an orb, but almost nothing compares to the reveal of the P-1000 skin, where fans realize the trailer was a little familiar. While most of us are celebrating the release of the new Deadpool skin, nothing beats the OG. When this one dropped, he brought an entire secret room with him. In the Spy Seasons lobby, you could click on a small vent, leading you to Deadpool's bathroom. It's even cooler because you could turn on his PC and play a secret mini game where you had to go skiing while running away from evil peelies. A little random, Fortnite. Now, Wade's buddy Wolverine has way more outfits, but one of them is a hidden reference. Wolverine Zero was meant to be a completely original variant for the Battle Royale Island, and yet it's inspired by a classic character character. He's based on Patch, a version from the comics who is usually found getting drunk at the princess bar. This is where he was recruited from in the Zero War story, and he even appears in the new Deadpool movie. One of the most heartwarming Marvel Easter eggs appeared in the Endgame LTM. This was a total clone of the Infinity War mode from 2018, with a few changes. Most importantly, when you want a match, it would say, Excelsior! It's a fitting tribute to Stan Lee, who passed away that year. And if you were around in Chapter 2, you'll remember achievements. These appeared at the weirdest times, like if you eliminated an opponent with a harpoon gun, it would say Thwip. And yeah, this foreshadowed Spider-Man a year before he released. If you ate a shield item dressed as Captain America, it would say, if I don't, Bucky, I'll die. And that's because, well, Cap actually did try to eat his shield in a comic. We got a Marvel season, so smash the like button if you guys want to see Part 2. It's been Tommy, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.